Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In the last tutorial I showed you guys how to fix a simple elevator bug. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make head bob movement. I've been asked for some time to make that so I might just get that out of the way now. Uh, first of all I'm pretty sure I added body holder in one of my tutorials. If not, quickly go to game object, create empty, position the empty game object somewhere behind the arms and then drag that into main player and then put main camera into body holder now if you're wondering what main player body is that was covered in elevator bug fix so watch that tutorial all right so let's get started first thing go to your fps script folder create new javascript call this head bob system double click open in the model develop all right, while that loads, I'm going to minimize for one second. Drag this and attach this to body holder. Right. Delete program strip. I'm going to zoom into the code for you guys. And let's start defining the variables we need. So the first one's going to be for head bob enabled. It's going to be a type boolean. I don't want to assign its value. Um, no, actually, let's do that. It's going to be equals to true by default. Var head bob distance distance, and it's going to be a type vector two. That's going to be assigning the y and x axis movement for head bob speed can be a float the next two are going to be private private for local position and this is going to be a vector three private for transform reference ref for short and it's going to be a type transform oh wow thank you more develop okay hopefully it's saved yeah auto save good And it's frozen again. I don't know why Monodobo keeps doing this. It's weird. I'm have to uninstall it. It's a shame. All right. Now I didn't, now I didn't save shit. Four. Head bob speed. It's gonna be a tight float for oh private for local position. And it's gonna be tight vector three private. Whoa, what am I writing? for transform ref short for reference and it's going to be a type transform all right i want to change start to awake that's all the way we need uh, we need by the way so yeah the first thing i want to do is i want to cache in the transform this script to be attached to so it knows what uh, what objects working with and also its local position to do that we're going to say transform ref equals transform and then local position
equals transform ref dot local position. Save that. Let's go into Unity. Double check there's no errors. Now click on body holder. There's the script attached. Now at the moment you can't see the two private variables, so I'm going to quickly take the private away so you can see them. What's going to happen is when the game runs, it's going to get the object that the script's attached to. In this case, it's body holder, and attach that as the main object. And then the local position is going to be equals to the transform reference, which is obviously the body holder. And you should see that working right about now. Okay, so I want to run the game. You should see that happen. Okay, as you can see, it's captured the body holder and all the local position. That's part one done. Now let's move into the update and actually script this bad boy. So the first thing we want to do is if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, closing curly brace. And we're going to say if the head bobbing is turned on, then we can do the head, bob head bobbing stuff. So a head bob enabled equals equals true. Say that. And inside here, the first thing I want to do is I want to get the stationary position and blend that into the bobbing position. So I'm going to say far. I'm going to call this stationary position. Okay. And um, it's going to be equals to a mat f dot min open bracket and then I'm going to say one comma mats f dot absolute so get me absolute value open bracket input dot get axis open bracket and the first axis I want is vertical alright close that and close that so it closes the second bracket as well now before I do continue I just want to explain brackets because some people are confused with them and they get errors now if I just remove this bracket and it may look like it's fine but it's not if you click on the last bracket it highlights brackets closing and as you can see it's only closing the bracket that contains vertical so that means the bracket before inputs open and the bracket before ones open. So how do we close these? If you put another bracket, that means it's closing the input as well as the vertical. But if you add another one, that means the whole statement is completely closed. There's no line of code that's open. Okay, but in this case, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be adding something else. So I'm gonna say plus, oops, mats, f dot get an absolute value for our input dot get axis horizontal all right and then you want to close that so that closes the input and you want to close one more so it closes the first bracket which contains the one as you can see. So save that. Now let's start calculating the desired x position. So I'm going to say for position x cal short for calculate and this is going to be equals to local position dot x plus head bob distance dot x times mat f dot sin so single open bracket time dot time times head bob speed 
plus mat f oops mat f dot pi divided by two closing uh, semicolon space now let's start applying this to the actual local position of the x. Uh, 